Hello everyone! In this video I'll show you a pretty cool trick in Sudoku known as Fistimafel's Ring. I'll also explain why it works later in the video, so for those of you who are interested in the why, stick around for that. But the what? That's pretty cool too. So the what is this, that the ring around the center block, or really the square around the center block, that's the 16 cells that I've highlighted here in green, these 16 cells contain the exact same digits as the 16 yellow cells in the corners of the Sudoku grid. The digits in the yellow cells are identical to the digits or numbers in the green cells, and together these two sets of numbers make up Fistimafel's ring, sometimes called Fistimafel's theorem. So, for example, in this puzzle you can see the green ring has the numbers 4, 1, 5, 8, 2 across, 8753 down on the left, then 5869 at the bottom, and the remaining numbers are 783 on the right. So let's list those in numerical order. 1, 2, 3, 3, there are two threes. 4, 5, 5, 5, there are three fives. 6, 7, 7, 8888. There are four eights. So those are the 16 numbers or digits in the inner green area or the ring. Now let's see what we have in the four yellow corners. There's one one, one two, two threes, a four, three fives, a six, two sevens, and four eights. So the 16 numbers in the green center ringing the square are the same 16 numbers that are in the four yellow corners. Amazing! And that is Fistimafel's ring, which is really a squared ring, but regardless, it was a brilliant observation by a Sudoku setter with the screen name of Fistimafel, who published a puzzle using this technique on Logic Master's Germany First, and then it was picked up and showcased in a Cracking the Cryptic episode in April of 2020. You can see an interview of Fistimafel here. I'll leave the URL in the description box below this video. It's an interesting video. Okay, now let's see how this might be used to solve a classic Sudoku puzzle. Here is the same puzzle with just a few given numbers. This is actually not a valid puzzle with so few given numbers, but let's use it just for illustration purposes. Now, notice there are four eights already placed in the four corners. That means there has to be four eights in the ring area. And let's see where an eight can go in this ring area. Well, it can't go in any of these cells because there are already eights in the row, column, or block. So the only place the eight can go in this ring is here. Next, we see that there's a 6 here in the upper corner, so there has to be a 6 in the ring, and it can't go in any of these cells since there are already 6s in the rows, columns, or blocks. So again, the only place a 6 can go in the ring is here. So far, Fistimafel's ring has helped us to place the 6 and the 8. So we can use this theorem to find missing numbers and also exclude numbers if we know that the two areas have the identical numbers. So this is a pretty neat trick, which can be helpful if you know what to look out for, wouldn't you say? Okay, now let's take a look at the why. Why does this work? And see if we can prove that the inner green set of 16 numbers is equivalent to the 16 yellow colored cells in the corners. We see that this is true for this particular puzzle, but is it always true? And the answer is yes, it is always true. And in order to prove that, that this is always true, we must first understand that the set of numbers in each row, column, or block, these sets are all the same numbers, that is the digits 1 through 9, not repeating any numbers. That's how Sudoku works. The numbers 1 through 9 must fill each row, column, and block once and only once. So, 
for example, rows 1 and 2 highlighted here in yellow, they have the same equivalent set of the numbers 1 through 9, though not in the same order. Row 1 has a set of 9 numbers, 1 through 9, and row 2 has an identical set of 9 numbers, the numbers 1 through 9. Now let's take a look at two sets of numbers that intersect. And here we have row 2 intersecting with column 2. And again, we have two sets of the numbers 1 through 9. However, in this case, one set is in a row and the other set is in a column. The cell that is in the intersection or the overlapping cell, that's the 3, is both a part of the row set and a part of the column set. So if I remove the number 3 from consideration, that's the overlapping cell that's shared by both sets of numbers, then I'm left with a set of 8 digits for row 2. Those are the numbers 1, 2, not the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and then an identical set of 8 digits for column 2, and it's also 1, 2, not the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So again, I have two sets of numbers that are identical, even when I removed the 3, since the number we removed was shared by both sets. So we can generalize that for any row in a Sudoku puzzle that intersects any column, if I remove the cell that intersects both sets of numbers, the remaining non-intersecting cells will still contain the identical numbers since the intersecting cell was the same number in both sets. So now let's see if we can extend this. Does this hold true for two intersecting rows and columns? Well, let's have a look. Let's take a look at two rows, rows 2 and 4, and in those two rows we have the numbers 1 through 9 repeated twice. And now let's take a look at two columns, columns 2 and 4, and these columns also have the numbers 1 through 9 repeated twice. So the set of two rows contains the exact same digits as the set of two columns. Now let's take a look at the intersecting cells. Those contain the numbers 3, 4, again 4, and 9. So 3, 4, 4, and 9. Now if we remove those numbers from consideration, we are left with 16 numbers in each set of two rows and 16 numbers in each set of two columns. But they are still the identical numbers. In the row set, we have remaining numbers 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, no 4s, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, and 1, 9. And in the set of columns, we have the identical set of 16 remaining numbers. Two ones, two twos, one three, no fours, two fives, sixes, sevens, and eights, and then one nine. So the two sets are identical, even though we removed numbers from both sets. They remain identical since the numbers we removed were intersecting and therefore shared by both sets. So we've shown that this works for the intersection of one row and one column, and also for two rows and two columns. Now let's extend this to four rows. Let's take a look at the bottom two rows and the top two rows of the Sudoku grid. These four rows contain the digits 1 through 9 exactly four times, right? Now let's take a look at these two blocks highlighted in green, blocks 2 and 8. These two blocks contain the numbers 1 through 9 two times, right? They are not in a row or a column, but rather in two blocks, but still each block contains the numbers 1 through 9. And now let's look at these two columns, columns 3 and 7. They also contain the numbers 1 through 9 two times. So if we combine the previous two blocks with these two columns, we get the numbers 1 through 9 repeated four times, twice in the two columns and twice in the two blocks. And remember, these four rows also had the numbers 1 through 9 repeated four times. So we have the identical numbers in the yellow rows as the numbers in the green areas, the same exact numbers 1 through 9 repeated four times in the yellow areas, and the green areas, 
that's important so let me repeat that one more time we now have the identical set of numbers in the yellow shaded area the four rows and we have the same numbers exactly in the green shaded area the two columns and the two blocks now if I combine the green area with the yellow area remember they have the identical set of the numbers one through nine four times then I'm going to have intersecting cells like we did before in the simpler examples so I'm going to shade those in aqua and the aqua cells are the overlapping or intersecting cells from the original and separate yellow and green areas okay now let's remove those intersecting cells remember they are shared by both the yellow areas and the green areas so we're removing the shared cells and now you can see what's remaining from the four yellow rows are the non-intersecting cells in the corners those stayed yellow and the non-intersecting cells from the two blocks and two columns those stayed green and as before these non-intersecting cells will contain exactly the same numbers that is to say the 16 digits in the yellow corners will have the exact same numbers as the 16 digits in the green ring and that is the classic Fistimafels ring pattern if you got lost rewind this video to the example of a simple intersection with one row and one column the logic is the same and it is a brilliant observation so that's the what and how and why of Fistimafels ring I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something